This is perennial throughout the year, but the gospel clearly calls us in Advent to serve the poor and to reach out to the needy and the sick. And oftentimes our attention and our hearts move to the poor at this time of year. We want to do something for others, and we feel that that's part of the Christmas spirit, and rightfully so. When we look at Jesus, the scriptures remind us that Jesus became poor by becoming human so that we could become rich. He emptied himself out so that we could be filled. This year, perhaps ponder spending less money for gifts for people that have everything they could possibly want or desire, and perhaps spending a little more money uh, to really help the poor and the needy. This year, ponder perhaps spending a little less time going to parties or celebrations, and a little more time reaching out to the sick or the disenfranchised or to the poor. How we spend our money and time reveals what we truly value and treasure. The season of Advent calls us to treasure the poor. St. Vincent de Paul reminds us that the poor take the place of Christ for us and that when we serve them and love them, we are touching and loving Christ himself. It was the great charism of Mother Teresa. It's the great secret of the saints. The season of Advent is a great time for us to reach out to those in need and to live that Christmas spirit and then to allow that spirit to imbue the whole forthcoming year, that it doesn't stop just when Christmas is over, because God calls us to, to love the poor and find within them uh, the glory of his hidden face.